Welcome everybody. Today we are going to learn how to go to the next page using Scrippy. On our last lesson we managed to get all the box URL and then extract the data from each one, like this. But we only get the first page of the search results. This one. With 20 books. Well, today we are going to learn how to navigate to the next page, solve the routing problems that we will face, and extract all the data from every element available. Initially, we just listed all the books URL and then, one by one, we extracted the data. As we had 20 books, we just listed 20 books URL and parsed those 20 URLs yielding the result. And now, we will list 20 books URLs, parse them, and then, if there is a next page, we will navigate it to it to repeat the same process, listing and yielding the new 20 books URLs, again and again, until there are no more pages. Let's start from where we left it. Since this is currently working, we just need to check if there is an next button after the for loop is finished. This one. Let's right click the next button. Here. The next page URL is inside an A tag within a light tag, le list item. You know how to extract it? So, create a next page URL we can navigate to. It is a partial URL, this one. So, you need to add the base URL, this one, as we did before. So, give it a try. This is how I did it. After the for loop, we are going to create the next page partial URL and we are going to get mm -mm -mm. list item, then a, then href. So we come here, response expat with the class next, a, then href. And we are going to extract the first one. And then we are going to build the next page URL. Next page URL with the base URL we have here. Self base URL plus. We are going to delete this. And we need to gel this function. Scrippy request. We pass the next page URL and a callback function. Callback. The this method, the first. So we're going to scrape the first 20 books, we get the next page URL, and then we're going to call this function again. So we're going to scrape this again and again. Let's run it. And what's happening here? There is only 20 elements in this file. Let's check the login. Hmm. Seems like this URL has catalog in the URL and this one no. Well, this website is a trainer website made by a scraping hub to train people in web scraping. So they have a little traps you need to notice. As you saw, some URLs didn't have the catalog. So let's solve that problem. As catalog is missing from some box URL, let's add it as a prefix if it does not. Try to do it by yourself before continuing. This is how I did it. First, we need to get the URL. Then, we need to check it. If catalog is not in box URL, book url equals catalog plus book url so we are perfecting it and then 
book URL equals self base URL plus the new book URL. Let's run the code again. Let me delete this. And now we have more books. But hmm. we are not getting every book. We managed to get the first 20 and then the next page. But then something happened. We didn't get the third page from the second one. Let's go to the second page here. This is the first one. Well, let's check this. Catalog page 2. Let's go to the second page. Inspect it. Mm. Here we have only page 3 with no catalog. And as you can see, the relative, this is the relative URL, but the absolute URL has catalog in it. Here, there is catalog, page 2, but on the second page, to the third page, we don't have catalog there. We have the same problem that we had with the books. Here. Some links ha has catalog and some others don't. As we have the same problem, we have the same solution. One you can solve easily. Why don't you try to solve it? Again, check the link and prefix catalog in case that substring isn't there. This is my solution. We have here the next page partial URL. So, we need to check if catalog not in next page partial URL catalog plus next page partial URL so we are prefixing catalog let's run the code again we need to save delete this and run the code Hmm, took longer than before, so let's go to the end. Now we have our thousand box. One thousand results, one thousand box. Every single one. You hit a milestone today. Now you are able to ex extract every single element from a website. You have learned that you need to get all the elements from the first page, like this, scrap them individually by parsing book and how to go to the next page to repeat this process, this code. And not only that, this example was a tricky one as we had to check if the partial URL had cataloging in it, here and here. Normally paginating websites with Scrapy is easier as the next button contains the full URL, so this example was even harder than normal and yet you managed to get it. But what if I told you that this can be even easier than what we did? Instead of grabbing your pitchfork and heading to my home, I will see you on the next four lesson where you will learn how to scrape every single item in an even easier way, using crawlers. And if you liked the video, subscribe to the channel to get notified when I upload more videos. Like the video and I will see you on my next video. Goodbye!